Next reaction can give you both aldehydes and ketone. For example, oxidation by PCC. I'll tell you what PCC is, but first I'll tell you what PCC does. If I take a one degree alcohol and I use PCC, then I get cleanly and neatly a aldehyde. This aldehyde will not be further oxidized to give carboxylic acid. If you take KMnO4 or K2Cr2O7, now these are strong oxidizing agent. The first, of course, they will oxidize this alcohol to aldehyde but the reaction will never ever stop at this stage. Now this aldehyde is so susceptible to oxidation that these strong ruthless oxidizing agent will always and always result in carboxylic acid as the final product. We cannot isolate this aldehyde. The moment it is formed, that very moment it is oxidized. So it is not possible to isolate this aldehyde and get this aldehyde as a final product from the system. So the, the final product that we observe, that we can comprehend from this alcohol will always be carboxylic acid. In case of PCC, you can stop the reaction. Actually, the reaction stops at this stage. It doesn't go to the stage of carboxylic acid. So it's a wonderful reagent for us. PCC becomes a very strong, very important reagent to get an aldehyde from a one degree alcohol because other reag oxidizing reagents will oxidize this aldehyde to the stage of carboxylic acid. That's the advantage of using PCC. This is what PCC does. One more thing, if we have a 2 degree alcohol, if we have this, so when we add PCC, then again there is the oxidation of this alcohol to result a ketone this time because there are R groups on both sides of C double bond O. So basically a hydrogen from here and a hydrogen from here would come out and there will be a C double bond O formation and there is a R group on both sides. So this gives us a ketone. So if you have a 1 degree alcohol, PCC will result in aldehyde. If we have a 2 degree alcohol, PCC will result in a ketone. Right? So oxidation is there for both alcohols. 1 degree giving us aldehyde, 2 degree giving us ketone. So that's what PCC does. Now let's see what PCC is. PCC is pyridinium chlorochromate. This is pyridine. This we studied when we studied resonance. When we were very young and we just started studying organic chemistry, I introduced this substance to you and this is called pyridine. Now, when you, the plus, the cationic form of this is called pyridinium. EM, IUM is added in the, in, in, in naming the cationic form of complexes, like hydrazinium, right? The pyridinium, that's, that's the way of naming a plus, plus charge of a molecule. Oxygenium, nitrosonium, hydrogenium. So this is pyridinium. So pyridine, when it has a plus charge, when it is this nitrogen is making a bond with hydrogen and there's a plus charge on this nitrogen, this is pyridinium. Chlorochromate is this. This is chlorochromate. Chromate is CrO3. Chlorochromate is CrO3Cl. Like this, it has <coughs> one unit of negative charge Pyridinium has one unit of positive charge. So it has two parts. PCC has pyridinium as the cationic form and chlorochromate as anionic form. So this is PCC, pyridinium chlorochromate. What happens is when, when we take an alcohol, this pyridinium chlorochromate is reduced. Of course, because alcohols are oxidized, this has to be reduced. When it is reduced, it forms Dihydrogen chromate H2CrO3 as one of the product. Dihydrogen chromate, right? 
so this has been reduced if you observe because one of the hydrogen has been added on this oxygen and one of the hydrogen has been added on this carbon so the chromate part has been reduced because two of the hydrogen has been added on it so this is a reduction of pyridinum chlorochromate and alcohol will be oxidized right so alcohols are getting oxidized and pyridinum chlorochromate are getting reduced now the reason i can tell why the reaction doesn't go beyond the stage of aldehyde and stops at the stage of acid is because the mode of reduction of the pyridinum chlorochromate is by addition of hydrogen now you can reduce something by adding hydrogen or taking away oxygen now in this case the mode of reduction is by adding addition of hydrogen now from alcohol you can quickly snatch one hydrogen from this carbon and one hydrogen from this oxygen so in that case hydrogens are quickly can be removed from alcohol because when you remove hydrogen from alcohol what you get is a c double bond o that becomes a driving force that can be done easily but in uh, if you if you if you go further if you try to reduce take away hydrogen from here and a hydrogen from another carbon that is not going to give you anything the final product after removal is not stable so the removal next no, more removal of the hydrogen are not easy if the removal of hydrogen is not easy they are, will not be easily reduced if they will not be easily reduced they will not be easily oxidized that's the difference so aldehyde is not further oxidized to give anything reaction stops at this stage because of the nature of the reduction of pcc i hope that is enough for you to understand or to get the feel why the reaction don't go ahead the reason why here reaction go ahead is because they are not oxidizing by this alcohol by removal of hydrogen they are oxidizing this alcohol by addition of oxygen now both kmno4 and k2cr2o7 produces nascent oxygen now the once they have oxidized this alcohol to aldehyde they will produce nascent oxygen and that nascent oxygen will very quickly be inserted between carbon and hydrogen to give you acid because they are oxidizing alcohol by adding oxygen so oxygen can be quickly added on this aldehyde to give you acid but this is oxidizing alcohol by removing hydrogen both is oxidation either you add oxygen or you remove hydrogen both is oxidation but pcc is oxidizing by removing hydrogen these are oxidizing by adding oxygen so they can add oxygen very easily on aldehyde but removing hydrogen becomes difficult so pcc cannot oxidize them beyond alcohol they can that's the difference and that's why pcc will oxidize this alcohol only to the stage of aldehyde and if it's a 2 degree alcohol that will result in a ketone reaction will stop at this stage right so this is a important reagent pcc pyridinium chlorochromate they will write pcc and they'll ask what will be the final product it is a important reagent you have to know this all right so the bottom line of this reaction is pcc is a reagent to produce cleanly a aldehyde from 1 degree alcohol if it's a 2 degree alcohol that will result in ketone fine all right